Uh, was it like Gerar? Better. Uh, how much better? A lot. Do I gotta get dressed up? What? To, to be a bear again? No. Yeah, right. well, you're fine. You're fine. <sighs> Hey, Charlie, don't worry about it. Figure it out. Yeah. Well, I hope there's something that I'm praying that we can do to no do something. I don't know. know. I prayed oh. already on this, but it's about... That's a good oh. way to get myself shot. Uh... Yeah. I, I mean, I'll, I'll walk you over there if you want, but I guess... It's okay, Dad. Blackwater soon. Sure. I mean, I can, I can hold your hand. I'll just tell Mother I'll be home in time for dinner. Okay. You hear us whistle? Wait, if you whistle? Yeah, it means, it means, get your ass in the house. Dinner's ready. Hey, uh, Derpity. All right. I love you. Let me ask a question. Yes. Is you, is you, uh, I love you too, boy. The senior like Grandpapa. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, are you sure? Girl Brian, it's good to see you again. As well, fine snake. How are you doing? Doing well, I hope. What is he so young or we so old? I, I have a question for you. Of course. What do you know about the tribes and the Great Plains? Yeah, I'm right. Comanche. Just ask me. Uh, yes. I'm your grandpa, and I said I don't. I know I don't very few. So, but you know if not knows. very, maybe a little, a little more than less. Well, uh, Why do you seek this tribe? You know, I mean, maybe. I know they're violent. Yeah, I know they're they're hateful. And my my ranch happens to be in near Blackwater uh, in the Great uh, Plains, uh, and uh, what, you just fold your arms over. Uh, I received uh, an arrow uh, inside my building uh, recently. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm worried for my oh, family. Yeah, all right. That's how I normally stand, though. I too would worry. They kind of do have the yeah. same mutton chops, don't they? I think it's, we we can't it's just up and leave that easily. That and uh, I'd rather not there be bloodshed, but I would defend my I property the best if I can you, if you I have to. Me, I'm gonna piss in your trumpet. What is pissing in your Hello, trumpet? Hello, brave. What are we making this? <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I'm saying. Not here. Man says that Comanche have attacked his home and issued warnings. Chewing arrows into his home, threatening his children and his wife. Their way of life. We confront the Kamachi and tell him to stop, for this man is a good friend. He treated us well. I don't wish any harm upon them either. We don't hunt out there either. We we get our food and supplies from town. Yeah, me neither. I don't hunt out there at all. We do not wish to fight them, but perhaps they will be more open to speaking with us because we are of kin. We're I brave. Hope. I don't, I don't want any violence if I can avoid it, but if I, if I need to defend my family, I will. Because you're right. They only attack your house once, or was this a multi occurrence? It was one arrow. Went over Sparrow's head. My, my friend. Friend of, uh, my friend Freeman as well. How long ago was this? Can we hit Two days ago. Before they kicked someone? Hey, which one? Uh, over here. Are you brave? Should we look into this? Hey, horse is why. See no reason yeah. why not, especially if he's a friend of yours. And he's a friend. If you want, you can ride with me to hey, to uh, my my ranch. We'll we'll have a meal together. Yeah. We can talk about it there, if you'd like. Sure. We will. He seems agreeable. Where is uh, Kicking Wolf? I heard him. My horses are right here. His horse is there. Water we yeah, sure. Very well. We I will get our horses. Come on, fellow brave. Be okay, Nicholas. Mr. Deputies, I have a question. 
Here is the man known as Deerhorn here today. Uh, I saw him a bit earlier. Um, not sure where he is now. Very well. So we thank you for your time. If you if you meet him, tell him that Shouting Snake has left a gift for him and his people in the tribe up north. His reservation. Well, Lily is right there. You can tell her. Lily, I have not met this Lily. Lily. This man has a gift for you. Excuse me, fellow brave. Are you one of the Wahidi, the Shawnee to the north? You've spoken to your tribe leader, Chief Tecumseh. And he is, um, of not sharing of ideology of ours, the tribeless. We do not wish to be enemies with your people. We came up there bearing gifts, ears from our plains to the south, the way of breaking bread with you and your people. Thank you very much. We left them with the fellow natives of the res. Hopefully they see it to you. The safe travels to you all. May you all be safe. O'Brien, would you like to lead the way? I will the best I can. I'm not too familiar for this area. Uh, my name is Dr. Salazar. Safe travels, it's a pleasure. Doctor. Thank you. He sounded familiar. Careful. It's gonna buck. Careful. Hey, boys. Oh, jeez. Hey, right here's where I live. Stop it, Hawk. I do need to pardon myself. I do need to use the restroom real quick, so make yourselves at home. I'll show you the inside here. Shh. Calm down, Hawk, please. Mm. Pardon me, folks. Oh. I do. I do need to use the restroom real quick, so I'll be in the outhouse. Stop. Yeah. Man. Sorry about that. I had to use the restroom real bad. The right, Nicholas. We've gathered the information since we've got here. Seems that your land here is restless. Here it's still haunted. Why the horses are acting up. I mean, my wife, we're looking at it. I'm a, I'm a man of God and she's a, she's a fortune teller. Perhaps her ways, she's welcoming unwelcome, unspirits. Some that are good, some that are bad. We haven't had much of a chance to uh, clean the place up yet because of recent accidents we had. My, my wife was kicked by my horse. She almost lost her life to internal bleeding. We had to spend about a month in St. Denis before I could take her back home. She she says her third eye is open and she can, she can see things that I can't. That is because it is likely that this place is troubled by the great spirits. We are performing a ceremony to release them from this place. Perhaps banish them into the tribes that we do not like. But this is a tricky ceremony. It does not always work. Though it is, how you say, expensive to perform. Is there anything I can do to help? You name it, I'll do what I can. Little Bear is procuring the necessary expensive ingredients for this to perhaps work. 
Now it is up to I and the Braves to perform the necessary gifts to the Mother in the proper order, in which we may or may not succeed. You understand oh. that our ways must not judge us for them. This is the way the Wild Mother taught us. I don't. I may be Christian, but uh, I was raised in a way where I believe as long as people were trying to do good actions, they're good people. And our gods, your gods, they, they all work in mysterious ways, even if they're the same or different. I don't know. I ain't the judge about that. Very well. Perhaps you can join I the ceremony to wolf, what you after have asked. you have tra completed a trial to show your bravery. Little Bear, you have done well. No, come on, what is the name I of this invader? I did not ask his name. Is that the man who shot you guys on the on the road here? I believe so. Shit, hell. This is indeed. a bad man. <laughs> so you understand that our sacrifices are not for those who, who don't need it or in vain. It's usually ones who have troubled us. Speak, damn you. Jesus. What is your name? He says his name is Jesus. He's Jesus. He is Mexican. Hmm. Jesus. I think I think he's just scared. He said he said Jesus like he's scared. We are not ones to prolong suffering. Jesus, or whatever your name is, if you do not decide to tell us. Your journey here has just begun. We will meet the great spirit soon and help us rid this good man's land of the evil ones. <sighs> <clears throat> Close enough. Shouting snake. End him quick. Let him not suffer. No, we must begin the ritual. Sorry, the man called you trouble on the road. Caused us all trouble. Not he a man worth living. He did shoot out all of us, he did. This is why we must take extreme measures. Take his life for the ones of your family. Make sure that they are safe. And the spirits haunt him and not yours. I appreciate your help. I do. I really mean it. Gonna do a lot of good. I appreciate you folks on the way to do this for me and my family. I really do. The ceremony is almost finished. Must not be interrupted. Brothers, it is unknown if this will work or be successful. We have only done everything the Great Mother and Spirit has taught us. 
We have done our best to rid this of your home, but guarantee nothing, my friend. We have done our best. Now, what can we do to assist you against these Comanche? I just don't... I don't want there to be any violence between us. Uh, I'm trying to raise a family here. I have friends who live here with me on this on this ranch. We we don't mean to impose. I I, I guess I uh, for the most part I was not aware of their traditions or their ideas from when I came here from Arkansas. Mm. Now I, I have a soon to be wife, many and other family it's me freeman many sparrow we all live here together and, and so does charlie there to help keep this place clean nice yeah i try to do my best <laughs> i just don't want there to be violence it doesn't need to be violence have you tried communicating with them at all i haven't had a chance to talk to any of them they very reclusive since since that time they shot an arrow over the fence. Hmm. Yes, it seems most of the natives here either keep to themselves or are one of the government's sheep. Either way, they do not seem to be particularly active in thwarting what has been done to them. I feel these Comanche will likely not trouble you often. However, if we are able to speak with them, perhaps we can garner some sort of deal. Unfortunately, they do not take deals for free. What can you offer the Comanche to keep them away from this homestead? What would they accept? I don't know if they recognize the governor's money or resources the way we do. Have you heard of the peyote? I have. I have. The Comanche find this sacred. I will not speak for the Comanche as a whole, but I know in the past we have done dealings with them, and they have accepted amounts of this in exchange for favors. Perhaps this is something you can procure. I'll keep that in mind then. I'll get together some peyote. I'll share it with them if I get a chance. I think I know what it looks like. Bring unexpected gift. Can you try to attack me? Oh, wow. That's I just, I'd rather things not get bought because my soul cannot bear it anymore. I, I know something bad happens. I, I will lash out with great vengeance. I'd rather not condemn my soul to eternal burning for, for hatred. You really shouldn't do that. I believe hatred is a essential part of life. To ignore such a large part of what the Great Spirit has given you is doing the Great Spirit disservice. It will throw you off balance. This is the why you feel this way, pent up with rage. This is the way. Wait. Now think about it then. It's that we think about it then. That does not necessarily mean be all hate. We're just saying balance is good. And since I came here, my life has been an up and down battle. Good things happen and then bad things happen right afterwards. I feel like I'm being tested either by your spirits or my God. Either for my sins or something. And I find myself burning with hatred for the people who wrong me. And I find myself acting out in desperation to keep those who I care about safe. And I do things that I think might not, might not be bearable anymore afterwards. <sighs> what sort of things would not be bearable? On the road, a man tried to rob me. I ain't never killed anybody before. 
Ah, I shot him down dead. You know, I was defending myself. I don't know where he was coming from. Why he was doing it. I, I could have talked to him. I could I could have said something. But I, sh I shot him instead. Out of fear for my life. Well, he was threatening you, Nicholas. You had to mm. do what you had to do. You need to send to defend yourself. I go on. I go on a date with Minnie. Right afterwards, something bad happens. I ask her to marry me. Good things happen. And right afterwards, something bad happens. I I ne I nearly lose my mini. She was kicked by a horse, and that that butcher, duck champion, almost killed her trying to pretend to be a doctor. Almost butchered her. <laughs> Luckily, in time, we found a doctor just in, just in time, and she's she's recovering. She's fine. She's she's almost better. Every time something good happens to me, something horrible right afterwards happens. I feel myself, I feel myself cracking. My, my very fiber of my soul. Every time something bad happens, I feel myself going to a darker place every time. This medicine man was false. He's nowhere near a doctor. He, he, he lied. He lied about being a doctor and nearly killed my mini. And now, for his for his sins, he's he's in state prison, permanently, and he's looking at the news. And I, I I hope he gets it. He better get it. He has to pay for what he did. Be careful not to judge. There is only one who can judge. Although what he has done is wrong, and what we may think is wrong. Perhaps he gave many strength in the Great Spirit's own way. They say in our tribe is that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. She's a strong woman that she is. She 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 can rope with the best of them. She she's got a fiery spirit. She does. She's a strong woman. She ain't like any of those women women who live in Saint Denis who dress up posh. She, she's strong. She she roped down an elk herself. Bring it back home. Fire is big in her heart, in her spirit. Known by the stories you tell. You tell that your wife, Minnie, she'll be okay. We'll find her way back to you. I appreciate that. That's, that's why I love her. That's why Walking. We, oh, sorry. That's why we're going to get married soon. When we can. I'm dying to meet her. I'm glad that you are soon to become a family man. Walking Shoes here has a strange story to tell. Walking Shoes, why don't you tell this man of your spirit quest that you had with your woman before she was lost? We went uh, to the north, in the cold. Not too many birds. Before she ran off with a white man. And so my spirit was lost. Now I have to walk to find it. Sorry Why we call him walking shoes. For he's forever walking. I I don't understand your folks spirit mother as well as my, my own father spirit mm. up in heaven. I I don't mean to pretend either. But maybe they're connected in some way, perhaps. I've always kept it over mind things. I, I do my best. I, that is all we can do is our best. I think my God in heaven is testing me. From my well, I was thinking about your issue with Minnie and making to sure that she wants to say strong. Our man here, Hodge, Prancing Rabbit, he has, he's what you would call our medicine man, or he speaks to the great spirits. He has trials that can make men stronger. However, these trials are not safe and are only reserved for the braves of our tribe. 
this would be very dangerous for many, but if she were to pass this test, perhaps her... Well, we know her soul would be stronger, but she may not pass. There is danger. I don't think you need to do that. She's just near recovery. She's almost she's almost better since, since it. What about you? You'd be willing to take these trials, protect your family. Think on it. Is it not an answer you must give right away? For it is a long, large process. I need to understand something first. I have faith in God above. I do. And I, like I said, Lenny, she's she's connected to the spirits. She's she has her third eye open. She she's done things to to help people and get rid of demons and things like that. She, she does that. She gets rid of horrible things like that. And she can read cards real well and they're accurate to your destiny. She said I was, she said I had a strong spirit. She said I had strength. I worry I'm cracking. Because I do things in vengeance that I might regret. And maybe, maybe you might be able to show me the way forward. Maybe, maybe that's what God wants me to see right now. Maybe that's what he wants me to see is a way forward. Through, through other people, he's, he's helped. Perhaps only you can know. We're offering you the trial if you so wish to take it. But it is not something that can be done... Um, how you say right away, it requires a lot of prep. I understand. Oh, if you decide that this is something you wish, it will have to be told to us and we will tell you when the trial can be done. Probably in a few days. I'll, I'll do it. And you come back to me, you tell me if I'm worthy, I'll do it. For my family. See the spirit rising in your heart. What's truly mean to be brave? Protect your family, your land, the one you hold dear. Protect those who are nice to you in your land, such as your friends and your companions. I feel you, when the time is ready, you will be ready. You will pass these trials. I have utmost confidence in you. And I appreciate it. But like my friend, fellow brave said, these trials will take time to be ready. I'm always around. And when it's ready, let me know and I'll, I'll do what it takes to become a better man, a stronger man. Well, it is not a safe test. A few braves have failed and are no longer with us, but with great spirit. Oh, geez. It is something you must pass, and we will not help, even if you ask for it. I understand that. Does your man here understand that he cannot help? He understands he cannot yeah. help. I do. Path you must walk alone. Prove yourself to not only the spirits, but yourself. I feel like you can do it, Nicholas. I've seen I'll do capable. what it takes to protect my family. Because yeah. I care about them. I want to see my wife through. So when we have kids, they they will have a safe place to be when they grow up here. It seems Hodge was using his powers when he found this cougar. Yes, if you, a sign. If you feast oh. this cougar's flesh, Gee, not raw cougar. per se, but after a few weeks or so, it perhaps might make you strong right. or stronger. Well, let me just respect. Let me, let me invite you folks inside because it's raining now. Come inside if you'd like. Where would you like the animal? Uh, we have a key, We have a dining room, and I'll show you. Ooh. <laughs> perhaps we should let walking shoes do the skinning. He's the cleanest with the knife. Don't want to make blood on his floors. There's so much room in this wooden teepee. This way. Hey. 
Red Rovers. Rovers. Why have we not made one of these? Walking shoes. It's weird. Here. No one in this room. Here. Hold on here. Here. Char Charlie, if you, if you can be kind to set up the table, please, with dishes for everybody. We'll have a meal together as friends. Yes, sir. I will. Do you have a room for slot? Right in here. This is the room for that. All right. Place is full of interesting things, contraptions that I've never seen before. Who's that? Sure, they're rooks. <laughs> These things were here when we moved in. Unfortunately, yeah, she's here. The family here before us made a cruel fate, and we came here to clean up the place and give them a proper burial. They built a great home. Myself, many free men who was, who was a man of slavery back in the time, and he's free now. He lives there here as go. well. Sparrow, a young woman, and, and my, my friend Charlie here. Five of us live on this homestead. Good. Uh, well, tea was all set for y'all. Uh, I've cooked some vegetables already in the in the kitchen. Uh, we set up the table for feast. Help yourselves. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Nicholas. Nicholas. Uh, Nicholas. Perhaps after this meal and the ring stops, the opportunity to ride towards the Comanche. Speak to them on behalf of these people. We are kind. Give our help. Yes. We'll try. My wife made this earlier today and has been cooking. It's good. Very good. Help yourselves. I appreciate what you did for me, and I really do. And I invite you to my homes and. Furthermore, I invite you to my wedding when it happens, and I will be putting down a message board in, in town, inviting you folks to it. Hmm. Most gracious of you, for O'Brien. It was a fun gift. I appreciate what you did for Valentine as well, offering a gift. Yeah, yeah I figured this is the least I can do. You guys are good, man. I can see it. Very good, man. I have some liquor laying around. If you like fire water, we have some. Hey. Help yourself hey, to it. It's on the shelves. You put down the spoon. You've had enough. Oh, I may have eaten more than my fair share of the stew. <laughs> I apologize. Yes, we would like some fire water. But don't give any to our provisions ever last. But help yourselves to it. It's on the it's on the shelves. I have a I have a supply. What is the meaning of this shouting snake? Why should I not partake in the feasts of our people here from our gracious host? There you have what they call a problem. You eat too much. You're acting gluttonous and greedy like the civil folk. Perhaps, Don't want you to overindulge. Perhaps you are right. <sighs> but it would be rude if I were not to partake in the gifts the hosts are offering. As long as everybody gets rude. something, we'll be fine. Just make sure everyone gets something. <laughs> as he says, I must indulge. Save, save some for the rest of us. Very good. Her wife is a great cook. And she's resting her now, so yes. we, we better be a little quiet, because you wake her up. She has a fury unmatched. Oh, jeez. We better not then. Oh, my. Perhaps you go easy there. You know how the fire water reacts with our people. Hmm. This is a very, uh, very bright chandelier. <laughs> it's the only bit of electricity we really have in our home. Yeah, it's impressive. What yeah. is this electricity? For fire in those. Like, I, I'm not on. In the understanding of how it works, myself. No clue. But it's magic. <laughs> I know. I know it comes from black water, and they have a way of producing it. I, I ain't in the knowledge on how they do it themselves. Jeez. 
seen oh. they have a lot of smoke and lights. Maybe it's from all that smoke they're producing. Are you strange? Are you feeling all right, Kicking Wolf? Little bear, why don't you mind your own great spirit business and let Kicking Wolf? I think wolf... you've had too much of the of the fire water. Little bear, I will not stand for this insolence. There's no insolence here, brother. We all come in peace. We're all friends. Hello, nice Kicking Wolf. wolf. Have you saw the smoking snake? They're shouting snake. Bring down little bear for his. Oh! All right, all right, all right. You've had oh enough. Bro. You've uh, had enough. We'll take him, him out with the horses and get him some water. Oh. I'm sorry that kicking wolf disrupted your dinner. Oh. We'll take uh, care of him. It's all right. I forgive you. I think there's some water in the cage. Oh. Come with us, kicking wolf. Have you salt and street? Let me go. Let me go. It will be fine. <laughs> Do we have what? So, wolf in the so, meat. And we do. Salt. Let me show you right here. Uh, I'll show you. Not too sure. Right here in this cabinet. I'm going to open it back up. Oh. <coughs> do you have any string in there? We, we do, uh, not right here, but across the way over in this cabinet, we, we have string. All right. Where do you wish me to hang this? If you, you can hang it uh, right out here. I'll show you. I would prefer it to be inside. It's inside. It's just a, it's a side house right here for uh, hanging mates. Right this way. Oh, through the bushes. Right in here. Have you uh, a smoker? I don't have a smoker yet. We, we're still making this place home. Clean it up and put yeah. it back together. I will hang it from the house in here, actually. I will salt the meat. I will hang it from here. I appreciate it very much. Oh, what was you. your What was your name again, by the way? Walking shoes. Walking shoes. Walking shoes. Good, good to have you here. I appreciate it. I do hope you find your soul again. I, I apologize. Any friend of uh, Any friend of IG is a friend of mine. I appreciate it. I came here very ignorant, knowing to the local life. I did. I admit that. Many do. Few are open to that. Oh. And those few who are, who are not open to learn, they, they tend to find themselves in a shallow grave real quick, insulting other people. <laughs> Sinners, I tell you. They will finish. You go back inside this way. Yes. What is it? Been a gracious host, but the sun has come up. Our festivities went all through the night. It did. It did. I'm tired from the drinking and eating. Now I am. <sighs> and well, great well to us and a good friend. Wish to see you soon. We're going to now ride out to the west and see if we can find this Comanche tribe and speak to them for you. I appreciate that. Safe travels, please. Well. I, my advice to you is that if you run into this tribe when we are not around, it is best to avoid them until we say otherwise. I'll do that. Alrighty. We will. Ah, uh, where did you find that? Uh, I found it out there. The parting gift. Some food. Like one of those cats yes. bringing back things. Well, all you stay safe. You as well. I wonder what Randall's think. Peace like. <laughs>